Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. Today I am back in the laser lab and I am working today on the fiber laser. So uh, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to do a custom order that a friend of mine is asking for. It's a commissioned order, but uh, it's free <laughs> for him anyway. So today we're going to do that and we're going to get into uh, doing a tiger on a tile uh, with a bunch of graphics around it. It's going to be a quick video today though, so don't worry about that. Uh, let's jump over onto the laser and get started and I will tell you what I'm doing as I go and I promise you today's going to be a quick one. So here we go. Alright, so I've got my tile set up on the fiber laser and this is my graphic right here. Uh, maybe at the end I'll put how I made this graphic. These are the settings. I've got the images and the text on one layer. And I mean, I should say I've got the graphics and the text on one layer. And then I've got the image on another layer. We'll cover the settings as, as the video goes. And now all I'm going to do is get started with this job. So I found out something interesting along the way here and that is uh, if I do the first layer of vector graphics and text in a different setting just to take off some of that surface color that's on there that it comes out really really nice when I put the final color on top so the first layer that I did here um, I did at 300 speed, 60 power, uh, 40 frequency, with a Q pulse of 500, a line interval, uh, a lines per inch of 254, and a scan angle of 45 degrees. So that's what you see here. And basically what I found is that this is sort of etching away the top color on this tile and getting just below the surface. I found that when I did my test engravings, if I went with the uh, light color that I want for the text and the graphics, they just didn't come out right. But along the way in the testing, somehow I came up with this idea to uh, not only run a second pass, I did multiple tests. I burned up a bunch of tiles doing this. But uh, I, came, I came up with the idea of changing the uh, speed, the power, the frequency, and running back over something that's already been etched out. Uh, I guess, I don't know what to call it, like maybe a template or something like that. So uh, I did wind up changing that. Now, moving on to the uh, image, and I'll tell you what those are in a minute. So moving on to the image... I went uh, 12,000 speed, 12,000 millimeters per second, 55% max power, 800 frequency, with a Q pulse of 70, 800 DPI, and a zero scan. And I originally set it for two passes, but during my testing, I decided to change it to one. And here you can see that I am getting that blue green color. Uh, his kitchen is uh, a combination of turquoise green and white so um, i've got 18 of these tiles to do one wall is 12 feet long and that's where these tiles are going to go um, he is originally from nigeria then moved to cairo and eventually settled here in the united states so he asked me uh, he gave me a bunch of different graphics for animals that he would like to have these tiles done and this is the first one this is the uh, lion face and there's text all around the outside and um, he's gonna put these their 8 inch tiles and the 8 inch tiles there 18 of them are gonna span the whole 12 feet with the uh, with the grout so now you can see I'm coming back and doing that second line and this is where I'm putting in the color and you can see how the 
the uh, I don't know what what to call it I guess the sharpness is coming out on the edges and you'll see that in a minute on yeah look at that the pyramids in Cairo uh, in Egypt so you'll see that it's really defining everything oh, the whole look there and what I did on this layer was a speed of 3000 a max power 44 frequency of 286 a Q pulse of 200 uh, 846 lines per inch with um, let's see uh, a scan angle of zero so you can really see the definition now coming out in these letters and I guess that first pass that I did during my testing I figured out that that doing that first pass with the first settings that I told you earlier would would break the color or break the top of the tile and then changing to this is where I'm actually getting the nice uh, bright almost white but sort of gray color to go with it so now this is like a bright gray and a, a aquamarine or I don't know what you would call it but there you can see the really the way it's really bringing out the detail look at the text up on top and then look at the text on the left and, and now you'll get to see it live as it as it uh, finishes off the text and that's really about all there is here it was just so easy to do once I got the settings down but of course you know I spent four hours doing material tests on this and uh, I think it came out beautiful I mean there's a nice aquamarine lion and the text came out a nice bright gray and these are the two colors that he wanted to have came out perfect now I've got my settings all set and I can run the all 18 tiles and know that I'm going to get the very same results so um, I know that some of you are want to be able to do <laughs> fiber engraving uh, this was a test that I did and uh, this is actually an upcoming video I'll be doing with with uh, Patrick and these work really fast and do really nice job this is like a brushed aluminum uh, look to the back of that came out really good and you're wondering uh, well where did you get the laser well I got this from Monport and but as a lot of you know I used to be affiliated with Monport doing their tech support and I am no longer uh, when they stopped or I should say uh, when they decided to stop answering people for tech support and providing uh, replacement parts under warranty and things like that, I stopped doing business with them. So Monport doesn't make anything. So this comes from another factory. It's a quality machine. I would recommend because of the price that you buy one. And that's only because you're not going to have problems with fiber lasers like you have with CO2s so uh, there's a big difference between uh, buying a co2 that's cheaply made in china and buying the fiber laser this is a jpt mopa a 60 watt and the source is original i've gotten that ver verified before i got this one uh, two people have verified that the source is a genuine jpt mopa and that's really all that matters and then it becomes a uh, price you know so they do have the best price on it and my coupon I've found out by going to the website does still work at monportlaser.com so you can get 10% off their good price already using the coupon code rich ampersand monport I'll put it down there if you want to go check it out I'll put the link in the description but I am not endorsing the company this laser comes from another company they're just a reseller it's a quality laser it's what you would expect and it works as as it's supposed to as do almost all fiber lasers so uh, if you wanted to take advantage of that price and try that coupon code it's down there below the video but I just wanted to give you a 
caveat mTOR is that caveat mTOR buyer beware <laughs> you're not going to get support with this company so uh, I just want to throw that in there if you do run into an issue with it which is very unlikely uh, these machines work right out of the box and they work for years but uh, if you do run into an issue you're going to have a hard time getting support from them all right so I've got my test tile done now now I can get the other 18 tiles going uh, so this came out really good exactly what I expected I got the turquoise uh, tiger I got the white graphics and text around the outside and I think this is absolutely perfect and these are the colors that he picked out so uh, these this is exactly what he wanted and now I can get started with my first test file done I can get started and know that I can run all of these other images and all of these other texts and graphics off and get a successful job so uh, that's it success and you know success after a whole bunch of testing I do have to say that so without running that material test initially and bringing that over to him to pick colors from uh, we would have I would have never been able to do this job but I have uh, 18 more to go because that one was just my test and you know if you do go to Lowe's look for ta uh, uh, tiles that are damaged or ask the manager in the tile department as this one has just some really strange little things that are wrong with it not much is wrong with this tile but there's some colors that don't match this this uh, gray color and I was able to get it for 10 cents a piece and uh, we we got those let's see we got seven of those at 10 cents a piece and then of course we got the the good ones the 18 good ones that weren't so cheap I think they were 54 cents or maybe it was 94 cents I don't remember whatever it was you can get uh, you can get seconds I guess they're called and you can get them very cheaply if you talk to the manager over there and you can do all of your material tests on those so short video today or it's almost a short video today I hope you enjoyed it I don't do much with the fiber laser I will be having a video coming out with uh, Patrick and I where we're gonna do some more projects that a lot of you people might be very interested in doing that's going to be coming shortly so watch out for that one uh, but that's it for today's fiber vi video I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it and as always I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one